The Bloody Roasting Podcast with Mikey Mercy. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Bloody Roasting Podcast, this is episode 2 and today my friends we have got a very very special guest, one of my good friends, a great kid, it's very rarely that you meet a guy like this, very rarely uh, a guy like this comes on, along every once in a while. This is a, a great comedian, a great actor, an Olympic medalist. Um, welcome, the lovely, my friend, is Jack Trainer. Woo! Thank you, Michael. Thank you for having me on at the, the Bloody Roasting Podcast. This is fantastic. Good, mate. How are you getting on? I'm getting on fucking amazing. How are you getting on? Well, we were full of patter before the cameras came ah, on. Just, just all sorts. We're bombing straight away. <laughs> <laughs> Two things, in it, like, <laughs> we're well, bombing. No, listen, I, I mean, we're pals, right? We're, we're mates. Associates. Right, I saw, I saw, <laughs> right, okay, I thought you were going to say soulmates. Yeah. Soulmates, we are, right, we're soulmates, we're soulmates, we're soulmates as well. But I want to, I want to get to know, I want to get to know the man, I want to get to know the man behind the mullet. Aye. Right, I want to, I want to know what makes you tick, I want to know how you are, mm -hmm. the way you are. Tick, usually about three for a ton, but <laughs> uh, depending on like, if it's somebody that trusts me and all that, I can bump it for another couple of weeks, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but uh, speaking of tick, uh, I've got a loan of a Bergos from none other than Bergy Boy himself. What a moment, by the way. I thought it would be good to get the Bergosses on. You've got it, man. I'm loving this. I think it's making, I think the sort of Leeds colours making, making the mullet 2001. Pop. 1995. So this is pre, pre or post 9-11, this? This is... Just after maybe I got that, just after night. That, that was my... Is that, what they, is that what they got you? Because you were dead Aye, upset I was, about I was that. <laughs> that was my present. I actually had a lot of a lot of family in 9-11. Aye. None of them died. <laughs> I read like that. Just so they, they were there. They were there. They just, were there. They stay there. They stay there. They, they're aye. there for America. But anyway, that's enough about that. I don't want to talk about New York City. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about where you grew up, right? You grew up in a place called... Cumbernauld. I mean, you're talking about... Great cities bustling with life. Aye. New York, Cumbernauld. Mate, explain, really. explain to me, explain Cumbernauld to me. Like, explain to the viewers what Cumbernauld was like as a young, I think, a young lad. I think the best way to sum it up was there was a there was a lassie on Twitter uh, just before Elon Musk fucked it. It's a lassie on Twitter that managed to convince thousands of people that a photo of the Cumberland Town Centre was actually Pyongyang in North <laughs> Korea. That, I think that just sums it up perfectly, man. There's something happened with the architecture, with the it's, place. It's it's just mental. It's like you look at, it, it's, you look at a building, like the Town Centre, for example, even some of like the house and end about it and all that. Uh, the old sound, but the actual Town Centre, it's, it's an absolute, it's abysmal, mate. It looks like some sort of fucking Eastern Block power plant, man, but you go in, there's like aye. 18 Greggs. A duns and fucking. I'm gonna say I don't want to fault anybody, right? For um, where's it called again? I forget already. Yeah, very funny. Oh, What's it I'm called? No Cumbernauld, old. <laughs> right? <laughs> Cumbernauld, right? I actually, did forget there. I didn't even know. That. <laughs> uh, so, it actually get voted the world's ugliest building. Ah, uh, yeah. I, I was and gonna just pop my face on it, but <laughs> no, so that it, would, so it would, that would brighten it up, mate. So it take another few years. The world's ugliest building, mate. It's a fucking, it's a disaster, man. Aye. Like it's, I'm, I don't know if it's like listed or that, but they can't. I don't think they can knock it down. I think they've tried to sell it a few times, but I think that's my ambition. I've got two ambitions in life. Buy the town centre and either demolish it or live in it. Or, and to a one day have an AK with my face pressed into it. I think Aye, they're the two same, main ones. I think we spoke about that and I, I actually, I would like to patent that. I don't know if you can say that on camera. I can. <laughs> I don't care, right? Even if it's like... Vitamins for Wayne's, right? Oh, it's definitely not going to be vitamins Just a wee mullet Wayne's. and specs, right? Like, obviously, we've got the mullet here, right? And it is, a, it's, it's gorgeous, it right? Was, it, it was a mullet, it was, um, but it was a mullet and then I've just, because I was told I wasn't, I wasn't to cut it. Who told you? Agents? Agents and uh, girlfriends. Right. My ma, she's wanting me to cut it. She'd uh, fucking she scalp it off my sweet So, do you, do you get a lot of, do you, 
can't believe I'm going to say this, but do you smash a lot of puss? No, nah, not at all, man. No? I'm not at all. No, um, the... but, but you've got a girlfriend, haven't you? Uh-huh. And do, do you think she was attracted to you for the mullet? No, I think she's got severe learning difficulties. <laughs> I think she was... <laughs> I think instead of being bottle fed, she was just given straight PVA glue when she was growing up. I don't know what's been wrong there. I'm waiting for her to sort of like snap out of it. But like, the f- fuck's this wee specky guy doing in my room? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm waiting in that moment in time. Aye. I fuck knows what's happened. It's definitely, I'd be surprised if it was the hair. Aye. Um, I love it, mate. I honestly, I had a bit of a mullet growing up. Aye. And I went back to it, I cut it, but it was nothing as majestic as that. Like, Still got to get the shit sides shaved and I can properly. I've, when I shave the sides in, I could be accused of doing traveller face, That's, <laughs> that, uh, and it has been said a few times, uh, roast battles just constantly, um, it's good for that, I mean, like getting booked for the roast battles and Aye. stuff like that, because um, book, booked a few, <laughs> oh, mate, 100% booked a few, uh, Ryan Cullen, great comedian, runs the roast battles over at uh, Monkey Barrel, um, fantastic nights them. I booked a couple of them and I'm, I'm about 95% sure it's not on my ability to roast and <laughs> purely on my ability to just get the piss taken out me because it's. I feel like one of the can fighters and like the Aye. UFC who's just like brought in to get smashed off like Khabib and all that no no not at all mate but it's it's definitely a it's a comedy haircut it's not a comedy haircut oh but fuck it, I no 100% is mate you couldn't look like this like in the bank you've, you've got a face mate Oh, you've got a face. I'm not saying you've got one of their faces. <laughs> I've got one of their faces, right? I've been punched for nothing. Right? Aye. Just on the street, right? Like, like, yeah. I've got one of their faces, but you've got a. You've not got a funny face. I'm not saying you've got a funny. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Aye. You've definitely got a authentic look. Aye. You know no, I, mean? I do. I could, like, imagine I was turning up to be like a school teacher or something like that. You wouldn't, <laughs> like, you wouldn't let the wings near me. No. It would always, uh, there's no way I, like, with a haircut with this, I would be teaching maths or something no. like that. Be one of the weirdo subjects, like fucking geography or science. Or, uh, science. Uh, science. Physics and Physics all that. Physics and science. Mate. Telling cunts a bit fucking. Definitely no PE. No, mate, no. No chance, no chance man. They went to be like, no. No way, man. I'm not going in there. So, I, like, what was it like then when, when you're a wee guy growing up? What, were you, what was the, a young Jack trainer like? Um, Just. It's an A. I was in was any Motors and that. <laughs> that. Used to steal motors and that, young Cumbernauld car thieves. Um, no, not at all. Just fucking same as everybody, really. I was. And, and the wrestling, you said? I just fucking football, wrestling. Who, who, was your, who was your favourite wrestler growing up? Uh, as I've got older, I've looked back in John Cena. Aye. Oh, mate, 100%. I remember I used to fantasise about being terminally ill so I could meet him. And I would, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was ju- I was ready to game. I remember they were, I swear to God, mate, I remember they were coming to Glasgow and my mum's a hairdresser who still cuts my hair, by the way. Aye. Um she's a Get a shout out, get a, get shout, a shop. Shout out my ma. No, just no. Stay home. Aye, aye. aye. So um she I I can't even remember what I was saying there. Just, John Cena. John Cena, aye. I remember asking her like, like I want to meet him, I want to go backstage. Like I want to be cutting aye. about with fucking the Undertaker's hat on and all that. Like, <laughs> Give me a skinhead now and we'll see how far uh, we can milk this kind of thing. So, John Cena, when I was, he was like the next kind of generation. Aye. When I was growing up, I, I remember I had one of the, was it Smackdown for the Xbox and he was in that, but mm-hmm. I'd stopped watching it by then. I was like an attitude era guy. Aye. You into that stuff? I, I looked back on it because I had a cousin that got me into it. Aye. Got me that, into was a, that, was a, that was when it didn't, like, it was crazy. Like, when shouldn't they have watched it at that point? hundred percent. You look at the, it's like, like the female fighters they had at that time. Like <laughs> it, was, it was insane. Like there was I think a few of them ended up being porn stars. Oh, I mean, that's what I was about to say. Oh, they were porn stars at the time. It was bordering on softcore porn. Like you would Aye. have these guys like having these serious matches. Like this, my brother's betrayed me. <laughs> Gonna throw him off a steel cage and show this motherfucker what I'm on about. <laughs> Slapping each other, calling each other bitch and all that. Aye. And then like they would have these uh, wasn't fucking... It for, wasn't it for Wayne's? No, you man, I mean? no. They'd have these cool feuds and then yep. you'd be thinking like, oh, they're female wrestlers and then they'd be just slapping each other in their bras and pants <laughs> and all that. <laughs> What about school? What was school like? Were you a bad boy in school or were you... I wasn't really, like... I wasn't, like... I wasn't, like, bad, bad. Like, I wasn't getting expelled and all that. I just Aye. didn't really listen. Aye. I was, like, riddled with learning difficulties and all that. Mm-hmm. Oh, shocker. Me. Double. I was riddled... As you can see, I was riddled with learning difficulties and all that. So, um... This is the bit where... Anna and Kyle zoom into my face and make it all black and white. <laughs> it's just a... Uh, I'm really hard. <laughs> nah, nah, Wesley man. That's what it is, mate. I, I grew up with learning difficulties, and learning difficulties was my 
my bra's nickname. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, no, but I did, and I know how I know how you feel, mate. It's not even that you couldn't listen. Yeah, you, you tried, but you just couldn't. You were daydreaming two seconds. Aye, later. Oh, your head me. was out the windy. I right? mean, it's just the way it was. I you mean, no, hundred percent. I remember. Um, I was writing. It was banging into the Tony Hawk game when I was younger. Oh, same. Oh, it was fucking class. The soundtrack, no, that was amazing. I remember. I can't even remember the song. Superman, on it. cause I'm a Superman. <laughs> 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 mate, <laughs> like fucking Aye. dynamite these games. I um, loved them as well, mate. There was one of them, and it was like it was like a rap song in it, and I was like, "Rap's amazing." So Aye. I was I was so young that like I drew. I was thinking it was my brother's PlayStation or something like that. Drew a picture of like a guy skateboarding, and then I turned it over, and I was like, hey, "I'm going to write a rap on the back uh-huh. of this." So I was like, hey, "Writing my rap, probably writing words that I shouldn't have been writing." <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was young, but I was about eight or something like that, writing this rap and everything. I was like, "This is a belter, man." I'm fucking making out the hood with this one, and then like I put it away. And my mom ended up finding it. <laughs> my mom found this picture and she opened up and seen this rap and seen all these, like, I was probably like, gang banging holes and all, like, fuck knows what it would have been, right? Um, and she found it and actually, like, came up to me and she was like, well, like, oh, I've, I've found this. And I was like, oh, no, I'm going to get it off her writing sweary words or something uh, like that. No, she, she'd found it and she was like, I'm going to, I want to use this as uh, to submit it to the school <laughs> and see if, see if you can get any extra support for your learning difficulty. She just looked at it and went, oh, he's got something wrong with him. Aye. He's fully got something wrong with him. I remember. So that was my, most rappers' rap career get stifled, but like gang violence and like drug <laughs> issues and all that. Mine was my ma, I think they had something up with me. My ma found my wee bra's MC Rain book, right? And I think it was about 15 or 16, and she found it, but she thought it was his diary. <laughs> <laughs> And one was, day I was walking <laughs> home from school. <laughs> no, was, I remember one of the lines was, I'm popping these pills left, right and centre. I'm on my way to a trippy adventure. My mum's like, ah, Stephen, what's this? What is this? <laughs> it's a bell to the line, by the way. <laughs> Can you deliver it? Let it drivel it? I'm popping these pills left, right and centre. I'm on my way to a trippy adventure. <laughs> Something like that. Your bro, Steve, we'll be a couple of quid after that if you turn was, that uh, what age are you again? 25, mate. 25, Born right. 98. So I've got 11, nearly 12 year on you. I feel right. a bit a pedo now since you're in my bedroom. Right. <laughs> you can't see this, but the Mikey's bedroom's my after bed the, there's, like there's, a, there. there's a sex there's wing a in the sex wing. There's 18 pet snakes. There's an iguana. There's <laughs> a tarantula. A, aye, there's a swastika on the wall. No, there's not. There's not. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to stitch him up there. Um, yeah, no, it's looking class, this man. I love the setup and shit like that. It looks, it's, it's very, it's got very touch of you and stuff like that. There's a carpet. You can't see the carpet, but there is a carpet. Aye, uh, he's, uh, get, he's, there was no. He was telling us he ran out of the sort of air freshener for this, so he's just put candy floss vape liquid into it. So we're just getting nicotine blasted yeah. about the room. Yeah, I could take a wee bucket, mate. <laughs> <coughs> what um, is that? Is it? It's haze, just, bro. It's, I fuck knows. I think it looks cool, mate. Other people might know, but I think it looks cool. Uh, right, so I was, you're 25, right? So you're a bit, you're a bit younger than me, right? Um, and Cumbernauld was a, like, when we were younger, we all went to Unders Raves, Archaeos, and shit like that, hard, Happy Hardcore stuff oh, no. like that. Was there anything like that? I and mean, there Cumbernauld? was. Not in Cumbernauld, everybody would just, I think the, the main fucking, like, the main selling point for Cumbernauld is you can get the train to Glasgow. Like, that, <laughs> there is not, like, if you go, you're going in and in, in, like that, you need to go to Glasgow, but... I was a wee gimp, man. I wasn't, I wasn't going to anything like that. I was no. just sitting and playing the PlayStation and shit Aye. like that. I was fucking was too scared for all that. Were you making people laugh, but that's what I wanted. Aye, mate. I, I you, always... had, you had to, man. I couldn't fight and I couldn't run. So I was like, right, if I just take the piss out of cunts, then I'll Aye. just... Get them on your side. Either get them on their side or just find... This isn't good advice, but if you are getting bullied in school, find someone weaker and just try and make fun of them and hopefully <laughs> or just like I was looking over there to look at our camera I was getting told that fucking so I don't know what I'm doing here but uh, thanks for having me on Michael <laughs> hey, what are, mate? Um, I saw that can you remember like um, you remember what it felt like when you're a wee guy like making people laugh did, was it anything to you did, like, did you feel oh wait a minute I enjoy this was, was that a thing for you Probably subconsciously planted a seed somewhere. Aye. Um just but it was always like I think even when you were younger growing up, just trying to make older people laugh. Whether it'd been like older people in your school and stuff like that. Aye. You always got a buzz off that. Yeah. So blah, who's this wee guy type of thing. But um it was always I think the best places for partners, I don't know if you're like me, school bus. Oh, you got a bus to school. Oh the bus to school. Feel bad for folk that walked. Aye, mate. The bus to school, the bus that I got to school was amazing. I go. I, I I wasn't even the bus I was supposed to get because there was a shite bus. There was a bus that left for the bottom 
of this scheme Aye. and it went straight down. But I got on a bus that went through like Fernhill, Ruggie and all that. Oh no, I'd have been and on that shite bag bus, oh, man. There was no danger. I'd have been. <laughs> oh, it was brilliant, but it was sitting up up the top, up the back. All the lasses were down the bottom. All the boys were up the top. Was it, it was like a, a Muslim bus? Uh, it, was, well, it was just wild. That's just the way it was, man. It was crazy. But I, I loved I loved the old school bus. There was cunts flinging shit out the windies. I know a wee guy that flung a, a full fucking bus seat, the back of a bus seat out the windy, and it fucking landed in a motor, and the motor swelled. It was mental, mate. Honestly, it was crazy. You any good bus stories, mate? Um, this is a podcast story about school buses, by sc- the way. <laughs> school buses. I remember, I seen my... Actually, there's a boy, Mark, showed me the first time, like, usually, because obviously you, your story, i seen, like, tits or that for the first time, will be, like, finding a bush, a paper in the bush or something like that. It'll be, <laughs> be something quite wholesome, pure coming of age. It'll be, like, the Goonies or something like that, like, fucking sixies finding it, like, treasure. But, like... I'll tell you about that in a minute. Because uh, <laughs> I grew up more in the digital age, like, my first experience i seen in it was, like, that, was on the school bus in the morning, like, fucking, mate, quarter Aye. to eight. And this boy Mark's just turned around his Sony Ericsson cyber shot and there's just a woman. I, I I was so young I didn't even know what was going on. There's just a woman just squatting in the gear stick in a motor. I was like, what in the I was like, what is that man? I was like, oh but I could remember we'd that a wee bit of sex education to that uh, point. So I was like, the fuck's that? Is that I was like to him, is that is is that the Volvo? And he was like, ah, no, mate, I think it's a Subaru. <laughs> Brilliant, mate. Aye, so you're saying what's it? What's your oh your wee story? It then? happened just like across the road, like recently. <laughs> aye, about three weeks ago, mate. Why are you three still cutting the bushes? <laughs> no, it was that actually was my boy in 1994. <laughs> so what happened was, uh, obviously, we're in a high flat. Then there's one right across the road. We were all playing football. It was me and my brother, a few of my wee pals, and uh, we're kicking the ball about. And in the corner, there was there was a magazine, right. And we were like, oh, what's that? Mm-hmm. And we went out and somebody picked it up and they're like, fucking hell, man. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then we're looking through it and I was like, what the fuck, man? Like that, just big nannies. Like, oh, right, hell, like full. And then there was a boy, man, I'm not saying his name, but he was like, what is that? And all that. <laughs> <laughs> I'd still like, be like, like, that. <laughs> like that. That's a funny, right? And he's like, hey, what's that? And then somebody's like, that's where baby's comfy. He's like, no, it's no, it's the arse they come for. Come out your bum, mama. Tell me to come out your bum. <laughs> <laughs> and that was three weeks ago. Oh, um, be, no. I, there's so many people. Like, I can remember thinking that as well for too long. Like, just assumed that, like, Aye. babies came out of arses. Just when you said there as well about the, about the stand by me thing, mm-hmm. I remember a stand by me day that we had, and it was us, it was about four days, and we heard... We just heard that there was a porno. Um, it was a magazine with Sable and Pamela Anderson, oh, right, Sable aye, the wrestler, aye, aye. And, aye. It, and it was them. And it was away up the fields, <laughs> next to a tree. <laughs> There's about fucking five hundred trees, man. We're like, right, get up early in the morning to a wee play piece. That way, like, we're doing this trips. If it. MD's gonna find a fucking porno and out of five hundred trees, it's gonna be a gang of wee horny guys. <laughs> but like, hundred percent. And see, like, see the thing is, like. I don't know if you see when you found like a magazine outside, it was never like a four four two or a match magazine. It was always a porno. Always what a the porno. fuck do they mean about it? I think it might have been I don't know, like I think it might have been like we guys having them in their room Aye. and then being para. because I, I remember I had a flush it, but I had a I had a pal, um I'll not say his name, <laughs> man, I just cause I think all these people watch us and he it was amazing going up to this boy's house, right? He was 12, by the way, and I was 11, right? And he just had pornos freely scattered <laughs> all about his room. And, then, and he had shoeboxes full of pornos. Like, like the waiting room of a dentist, mate, just don't <laughs> <his day. laughs> <laughs> right, eat o- Honestly, right, they were, mate, I'm no kidding on. When I, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm no right. They were just everywhere, and it was, it just like, it was like hardcore porno Aye. magazines, right? And we would all just go up for a swatch of them, but he just had them all lying about, and I was like, this is incredible. I'm like, how? Like, I could never even imagine... Like doing that in my room, right? Right, because my mom cleans my room for a start, right? But I bought up the courage one day, and I was like, "Can I, can I have one of them?" And he's like, "Aye, if you want." And I had to have a make up a plan to take it in the house, Aye. and uh, I fucking put it in. <laughs> I put it in my soak. <laughs> 
and I put my trousers in it, and I pure walked in like that. And I went to my room, mum, right? You've got porno in your trousers, I know, Michael. That, that's, that, that's, see that? That's the way my mum was. My mum was like that. She just pure knew. So got I was porno in your trousers. Are you excited to see me? Got a porno in your trousers, just the way you're sitting. <laughs> uh, honest to God, man, that's but oh aye, the old I don't I don't know if we've off subject there, but it's good to chat to a twenty five year old about porn. Nah, I know, mate. I was just thinking about that right in here. Some um, shitty chat there. We've so, so obviously, you know, we've done Jack, a few. We've done we've, a few gigs together, haven't we? Gigged together, mate. Done a few. One of the main. We've seen some shit. We've been some places. Main ones being the jails and the jails. Aye, but before we get to that night, before we get to the see, you've as I said, you've already been on my wall. So I'm man. The camera can see that. Already up there, but Super, what an honour. Oh, the first time I heard of you, right? The first time I heard your name, I can't remember who it was. Somebody had mentioned you. I might have been Paddy Linton or something. Oh, have right. you seen him recently? Aye. Uh, hey. Oh, mate, he's not looking well at all. <laughs> Honestly, mate, seriously, I'm... No, 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 seriously, you're laughing, mate, I think... <laughs> Paddy Linton, there's honestly, there's something wrong with him, like, I've, it's, I've been meaning to bring this up, like, seriously, I'm, I'm actually really concerned, I've never, I've never seen a guy look, be so fat, but look so sickly in my life, you can just look, tell that it, his heart's exploded and it's oh, about to yeah. go again, man, it's, no, I, I do oh, love Paddy, aye. but, um, yeah, he's a, he has a fat Paddy Linton, you're a legend, but that's, that was funny, uh, so, uh, the first I'd heard of you was probably, I think it might have been that, and then, I think you messaged me or I messaged you or something. Aye. I was on an 18 bus up the top, double decker, heading back for the town. And you uh, you sent us a video. And I watched it, mate. When there was people on the bus, I was just laughing, mate. Aye. I was just like, freely watching it and I was like, all right. And then that's when I got you into the Reviber room in that, right? But what what was it? Like, what, how did it come about for you? Same. What happened? Do, How'd I you got, get into stand-up? I just... I got into it, it was just the end of, I'm one of these people who got into it after COVID. After obviously that hit and there was fuck all else to do. And I didn't have, like, I tried college, even uni to an extent. I tried jobs, like apprenticeships, fucking yep. call centres, the works, man. Mm -hmm. And then I'd always had the idea of doing, like, comedy in the back of my mind, but just never, Aye. never really get around to doing it, never had the courage of it. you don't know whatever. anybody that's into it, you don't know how to get into it, no, that was the same as me, mate. Don't know, I didn't even, I used, I was a fan of it, but I was still, I still thought that they, I, I didn't know that they wrote the jokes then. I thought they just uh, went just on stage, stage and stage. stuff, but that's I just, what I thought as well. I just shows you the calibre of folk that, because the people that can do that are the ones that are the best at it, it just all seems off the cuff. It just but, looks natural, and as if it's the first time they've done it. Just, I just COVID, mate, and then I went on, I went on and it was, that, I'd last started, I think the seed get planted. My pal Laurie uh, gave us a loan of the Frankie Boyle's Tramadol Nights right, box aye. set mm. uh, in history. Because I mind when that was on the telly, I mind watching it. I think it was the last episode or something like that got pulled. Right. Because there was just outrage with it or something. Right. Like that. I'm probably half arsed remembering that story there. But my pal Laurie gave me that box set in history. And then I think I watched it about three or four times over, just looking at it like. It was say, uh, how the fuck's he getting away with this? Like saying these stuff, uh, this is mental. I probably didn't even get uh, half the stuff he was talking uh, about at the time. But um, well, you know, it was funny. And then just any time I was in history, me and my pal would just sit and quote it. And then started listening to the Have a Word podcast. Yeah, boys down in Liverpool. Yeah. And then I was like, ah, these these boys just seem like me and my pals kind of thing. Mm. Like, because before that it was just like American comedians, like American podcasts and stuff yep. like that. It doesn't seem like. Like you could actually go out and do it yourself type aye. of thing. Yep. And then it was seen the aim doing it. And then it was uh, Darren Connells. I seen his Straight White Whale podcast. And then I was like, fuck, man, you can actually do this. And then I remember him talking about like Scottish comedy form. And then I kind of knew about it on Facebook and stuff like that. So I went on. And then like a lot of people in Glasgow done my first night at Salsa. Yep. Um, pre new owners. Mm -hmm. And then just fucking. Loved it ever since, man. Just went for there and then seen got got in touch with you because I seen you were booking vibe room, mm -hmm. and it was just after I had a lovely shout out from Christopher McAlfer boys. That's right, I remember that. And then I fucking owe that guy so much. Like mm -hmm. there might be a moment in my career where he just takes his belt off, undoes his trousers, and goes right now's the time. <laughs> and I would just need to do it because he cut out a lot, a lot of. Uh, a lot of the sort of stuff at the start where you're like begging folk to let you on and all that because I could just blag my way to be like, oh, no, you definitely. said that was funny. Aye. So I, um, what about yourself? How did you end up in it? Well, 
it was always something I wanted to do. Like, I just, when I was a wee guy, I was always into comedy, making people laugh, doing funny voices and all that shit. And then watching Billy Conley, different stand-ups and as a sketch shows, I always wanted to date. People said I should try it. All my teachers said, oh, you're a comedian and all that oh, shit. Yeah. I Same as yourself, I had jobs. And every single job I had, I was just there to make people laugh. No doing any work. Like, managers would take me in and they'd be like, ah, look, Mikey, everybody here loves you, but Aye. funny's not enough. Know what I mean? It's, you need to do your work. Aye. And then it, I think I actually, in 2011 or 12, I was supposed to be doing a stand-up night uh, at the, in the local pub. Flyer that was made, but I just didn't go because for my nerves. Aye. And then, how old would you have been then? Eh, uh, I'm shit at maths, so oh my, I'm man, thirty-seven. I the podcast, now. Man, huh? Thirty-six. I'm thirty-seven next month. I don't know. About Kyle, you get a odds. calculator there. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's not. That's not. That's the. That's it's 20, that. about twenty-five, twenty-six. I don't know, something Aye. like that. But Aye. but I, I wanted to do it, and then I was just always too mad with it, and again I didn't know how to go about it. I didn't know there was a scene. I didn't know there was open mics. I didn't know any of this shit until I started watching a lot of stuff on like YouTube and that. And I just, I was watching like how to write material and how to get into it. Mm-hmm. And then I put on my, f- the first show I've ever done, I just put on my own show. And, I, and uh, one of the maddest pubs in Glasgow, the Ranza, Gordon's Bar, crazy, man. How long, how, how long did you do it? I'm not, <laughs> I you never. I swear to God. <laughs> I know, right? Men told me uh, I done the oh, first. I, I done. I, I done the first tour as myself. I, the first half hour, then the second half, it was like Bergy Boy, right, just aye. doing the voice and walking about and right. But it was, it was a fucking eye opener because like the first, it, it, I, I was getting laughs and all that. But I remember feeling like I was. I had a two, a two CB. I was on gear. I was boozing. I'd been DJing before aye. it, and. Uh, it was mental, mate. And then after that, I thought, right, I want to do this. I want to do this. And I started going to the salsa mm-hmm. every Wednesday, every second Wednesday. Started going to, um, it was a night called Clusterfuck Circus. Started, that was a nice and sleazy. Started going oh, to yeah. that and doing like different characters and all that. And then, what happened after that? Uh, I went and done a Viv G course. Went done, that was when I met Paddy, Amanda and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, did he look better back then? Paddy, aye, he looked oh, better okay. then. He's let himself go, man. But oh, it's shocking, man. <laughs> Never worked. And that was it, mate. But then, you know what it's like, mate? It's just for me, it, I started comedy when I was still mad with it all the time. Aye. And then, obviously, when I gave that up, this is all I've got left, sort of thing. It's just, this is the drug. This is, you know all, what I mean? this is all you need. The dunt you get for this is all you need. Aye, it's like, incredible. You'll know yourself. Like, I've, you, you've go home might have work at fucking five six o'clock in the morning the next day and you know that and you're knackered for work all day uh, but you just can't sleep no you can't sleep you're rattling you're buzzing you I just... can't I'm rattling about in this room like a skeleton in a biscuit tin <laughs> try to have a wink <laughs> it's fucking it's no good mate you can't sleep doesn't matter if it's a good gig or a bad gig if you've had a bad gig you're up all night think oh fucking hell man know what I leave the house again I, I but, love I love a bad gig I am starting oh. to I love, I, I love, oh no, seriously, <laughs> I love a bad gig. See, talking about bad gigs with other comedians, it's absolutely right. my favourite so, thing to do. I've never really ever saw you have a bad gig, mate. Uh, even if you think you've come off and you've been like, oh, fucking hell, I always enjoy it, mate. Aye. Because, you know, it's just, it's obviously funny, funny for comedians and the comedian pals when somebody's bombing, but you'll know, you're never really bombing, like, like, to the point where people are feeling sorry for you. Like. Well, you won, the, you won the Unhartley pool the other week. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so is this, right, hell, man. So, that, so is this the one where we were at Hot Water? Aye, aye. Aye, so just tell tell the viewers and the listeners here, we were supposed to go to a gig, we were supposed to go to Hot Water Comedy today, the Wholesome Prison Blues, which we've been touring all the prisons, and Jack had to, we missed you, bro. Aye, So I Jack was... had to pull out because he had a big gig in Hartley pool. Aye. Right, and eh, uh, you sent a, a photo into the group chat and I can't remember what he says, but he said, uh, I'd have been better after just coming. Ah, I think I was sat, I was, I had that, oh, mate, a can was, on your head. It was a disaster <laughs> for World Go, man. I'd went, I'd booked this because what I'll do is like travelling down south and stuff like that for a gig. I'll just, I'm, I'm there's no money in this. Aye. Like nobody does this for money. It's certainly not at the start. No. So you're like you're you're going down to these gigs, you're losing money on them. It's Aye. not about that. You're just going. To like, you're just paying yourself to get, to get in the stage time during a gig. And um, so I was, I'm just trying to do cheap as possible. Um, so fucking planes, trains, and automobiles to get there. 
and then just the cheapest option, try and find something even semi close to the venue right. type thing. So I booked this venue, uh, venue. I booked this accommodation on Booking dot com. It's like fucking two star or something like that. Right. I think it was like 24 quid a night. Should have been the first red flag. And then <laughs> I was looking for the address on booking.com and I got off the train in Hartlepool and I just seen all these like Google reviews and it was like, don't book this, it's a halfway house. Fuck. So I get in there and there's like fucking cunts creeping about the halls and all of that. Like, <laughs> I was like, what the fuck's going on? I was expecting for a brothel. <laughs> Excuse me, mate, have you got 20 bins for the boss? <laughs> and all, it was rough, mate. And um, so I was like fucking blood in the flare and all that. Uh, and then I was just, just for that moment, I was like, oh, I, I don't know if this is, uh, I don't know if I have a good one. So this is you checking in before it had even kicked, uh, mate, kicked it, a ball? Aye, uh, before it even kicked a ball. And then turns up to the venue and it's this big, massive, like fucking town hall thing. Right. I'm like, right, still feel good about it. Go in there, class, everybody's boozing, right up for it. Go on stage and it was just like a fucking... Sell it, show. Aye, Busy. Mate, aye. Who was on? Um... Pff, me, it was Phil Chapman hosting. Yeah. And then Stephen Sutton and then Matt Richardson. I, think. I don't know if I know him. So um, were you on were you opening us or were you just Oh a no, spot? no, I was a fuck mate. I was in I was in the middle. Right. I was in the middle. Um and they'd been saying before I'd went out, they were like, Oh, this can be quite hard here and I was like, You're in North East England, like they're Aye. all like if places that tend to be shitholes are always better Aye. for comedy, hundred like that, yeah. that don't make the rules. So I was like, right, I was going through the place. I was like, right, this place they're gonna fucking love comedy here, right? <laughs> um and they did love comedy, just know my comedy. Oh, um, I find it hard <laughs> to it believe me. Fu- it was like an anxiety dream. There was one point like nobody <sighs> laughed and I could so feel where, so were you on sorry for cutting you off here? No, right? right. Were you on just the bang in the middle? Aye, bang How was the, the show middle. gone? Class. Oh, class, mate. Fuck. Class, proper big fucking spanner in the works, right? So I get out there and then <laughs> I open every gig in England the same way. Jamaican accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's tried and tested, right? Just Jamaican accent for the word go. Aye. It's the equivalent of a two foot challenge in the first minute. Let them know you're there, right? Just boom, Jamaican accent. Don't do a Chinese one. That's above the knee. That's a straight Aye, that's red. A Facebook band, man. That's a straight red, that one. Just Jamaican accent, right? And I do that, and then I'll go into a wee bit about, like, oh, no, I'm no, I'm actually Scottish. I uh, just, like, obviously there's a bit of beef and stuff like that. So they went for that. Yeah. And then but I was just losing them and losing them and losing them. And then the heckling started, oh, and it was, it was so dark. And the venue was, I, could, I couldn't see it. All Not I could hear was, you fucking ginger jock bastard. Oh. It was so bad, I just started pissing myself laughing. Like, right. just howling. Like, the, gig, the gig was great. The guy runs it brilliant, Aye. all that proper setup and everything. Brilliant, just. What did they say? Who the booker was? Was he giving you advice or whatever? Or? I mean, I've tried to email him. I've tried to find the words to email him. I've you. not even, <laughs> I've not even sent it that yet. I'm just like, I, how do you start? Sorry, I don't. What, Aye. <laughs> what about yourself? You had any like real, real horror shows? Uh, I can't believe the one that you were for a two CB for an hour. Aye, that 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 should have went right. <laughs> it, it, it was that gig was I had like I had loads of pals there. Then it was always on as a people I didn't you know. And there was hunters, there was like, it was in Black Hill, mate, right? It's oh, fucking f- wild, right? Do you know who's Faye Black Hill? Paddy the Badger. <laughs> That's what I need to say, man. Paddy <laughs> the Black Linton. Hill Badger. Paddy Linton, the Black Hill Strangler. Just, uh, just pa- I'm, ass- I'm assuming you're going to get, you will have Paddy on this at some point. Ah, right? of course. I, uh, when you do get to meet him, just, just, uh, if you're wondering what he's like, I asked Paddy the other day, because uh, <laughs> I told him my dad's second name. My dad was like, ask him if he knows such and such. So I asked him, and Paddy was like, oh, I don't know. And then he went, he was murdered behind a pub and they never found out who done it and Paddy was like, oh, I asked my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> so it would have been this pub, the Ranza. <laughs> uh, but I had like, um, I had pals there, then I had obviously loads of people I didn't know, so I just started like heavy roasting Black Hill as a place, but there was a lot of talkers, but the boy that runs it, his brother, he was going fucking me. He was got a chib cunt. So he's like, fucking shut it, man. Let the boy speak. That's brilliant. Right? And it's, as soon as I go to the, the place, I was I didn't I wasn't even inside yet, and I was getting all the machete part of half cunts outside the place and all that and all that. <laughs> just get my fucking get my tag on. Just that. get my porno out my leg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I go. I can remember getting up, getting some laughs, and then try to go into a story, and then just freezing and doing that. Oh shit. Ah. <sighs> Fuck. That last about an hour, that freeze. It made that last so long, right? And I, I felt that. And then I kind of remembered the wee story. The first bit was mainly just, um, like me, we kind of story jokes that I'd made up and then just roasting them. And then 
I had to be had a break, and then as soon as I get the jackets on, every ah, cunt was a howling because it was just me doing the voice and walking about, and they, they liked that because they were already invested in the character. Ah, yeah, so you've done it at Vibe Room once, and the place aye, just went like, fucking it, electric. It's, uh, but I've had, I've had howlers, bro. I've had fucking many, many a howler. You know what I mean? When I just feel like, oh no, and I, I take it bad, man. I'm starting aye. to get, I'm starting to get better. I never really used to. As much as I do now, see, because it means something to you now, and you're Aye. like, you don't want to bomb. And, but I've had, I, I can remember I went and done, just at the fringe there, I went and done a gig for, um, I opened up for Ouija Hinky Rat. It was like a Wednesday night, and uh, there was like 15 people there. And um, I just hated me, man. Aye. And I just started shouting at them all. <laughs> so I just, I was like, fuck you, man. I know it's Wednesday, but fucking like, not, know, I mean, man. just... And then I walked away like that. Fucking fuck this, man. You know what I mean? That fringe can I've be had... such a hit and a miss. The crowds can be a hit and a miss. We've, we've done a show together. You can see it like Aye. there's two guys and a dog and then one night there's <laughs> like 150 people and all that. Aye. It's mental, man. So many jail gigs but have been tremendous. Ah, so easily highlight. Some of the highlights of my comedy so far Same. have been in the prisons, which Aye. sounds a bit mental, but like been lucky enough to do them all with yourself and just Aye. even, not even just the gigs, just like for spending... Because you're not just popping into the jails and back out again in like 20 minutes. You're ah, doing you're like, in there for a bit. You're doing like two shows in there. Like you'll do maybe like, just like Green Oak, it'll be like female population, male mm -hmm. population. Aye. Or another one, it'll be like population, then nonsies and all that. And well, the thing is, one of my things that I took away for that was, I think it was shots, right? Obviously the chips banging, right? Oh, but that deserves a full segment, to Aye, a full podcast. You, to you, the chips and shots are the best chips I've ever tried in my life, right? Like some of Mikey's pals will be watching this have been definitely no, they have, been to they shots. Are, they have, and I'll say that they'll come up, there'll be people in the jails that'll come up and be like, what's happening, Mikey? No, seeing you if you were that height and all that. It's brilliant, but, but they'll know themselves the chips and shots are Aye, like Michelin star. Tremendous. We done. I think it was if maybe, I don't know if it was the first time we done shots, but we went and it was two shows. It was a morning one. It was the one that was fucking 10 o'clock on a Monday morning aye. night the one they filmed and then the was, one they filmed aye. so see that I was on last that day and it was one of my favourite sets I I've ever done I remember that mate that was fucking right? dynamite and it, I, I loved it it was so good it was fucking amazing and then the second show just wasn't as good it, I, I didn't bomb I didn't do badly but I just didn't get that feeling that I got for the first one aye. and then we found out later on that the first show was all the beasts <laughs> <laughs> I was like fuck <laughs> Do you know what I mean? All the protection, but we don't do that. We don't do. It. We, we didn't know we get sneaked. We we did, by the way. Like we're, we're, we're not really. We're, we're still doing them. Like, I've no. Well, we're doing them, but it's like we're no. We're just no doing. Like we're no doing. We're people. no non jesters. No, we're anymore. no non jesters. There was one he coined that phrase, by the way. <laughs> I am not a non jester. Right. That was, uh, yeah, that's my wrestling name, the non jester. <laughs> ah. Can't tell you about my finishing move though, because I'll get uh, me and Mikey arrested. Uh, <laughs> You fucking, when they get him with John Cena anyway. Oh, fuck, no, Attitude man. Attitude era, death o, but no to hang me. They'll be dressing up as John Cena, trying to meet Aye. me Baldy Wayne's sick fucks. What's been your... <laughs> <laughs> oh. What's, uh, so, obviously, com comedy, very good stand-up comedian. Enjoy it. You're fantastic. Thank you, So, brother. you go in there, you're enjoying it. You've had some bad gigs. Tell me about some of your... Like, tell me about your favourite gig. What's the best... T -t now, what's been your favourite gig when you felt, fuck me, that's a comedian I want to be, that's what that's what I want to do when I'm on the stage? Like, I'm going to shit house out of this because I don't think there's really one type that I could say what by him, but any any gig Donna Boyd puts on, Aye, is, I don't know which... Shout out to Donna Boyd. Shout out Donna Freed Boyd. Up. Freed Home up. Homegrown always best. It's um, sobriety charity, right? Aye. And... Not a bad mouth Donna, but I think she might be talking shit. I think she might be get. <laughs> I think she must be getting them all on edibles because it's one. It's some of the best crowds I've ever had. In Aye, my life. it is, mate. Honestly, and like, you think because it's going to be sober, like you've got these preconceived notions of like room full of sober people. Like so it's a lot easier if they've had a few drinks in them. Sort of like, but they're they up going, for it oh, for the mate, start, mate. They so, love it. So up for it because you're thinking to yourself, like you said, like you want people. You don't want people to be mad with it. Like no. that steaming way shouting stuff for like year. There's asleep, nothing right. worse than that. But you want people to be merry. You want people to be up for a good laugh. Aye. And uh, they they just love it. You want them to have like enough drinks that they're going to enjoy it, but they could still drive him. <laughs> aye, like, aye. They, they, do you want to know what? In fact, I'll tell you. That's probably one of the best. My favourite time seeing you was at 
Is that the, the one you were DJing and you were, I was getting, where you were um, replaying Hang Me, Staying Alive by the Bee Gees? And I'd done two, ent- about three entrances that night. It might have been, by the way. That's right. That's I'll recorded. Play that again. I'm sure that's recorded. Back and come back. that recorded? I'm sure. Because it was, uh, it was, it was Wholesome Prison Blues one. Aye, because that's right, because I opened up for a cake. <laughs> 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 right, that's the, 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 the mental things about Donna's gigs, as you will, the support for a buffet. Oh, aye. But it's brilliant. Like, oh, it's the, amazing, it's man. It's the only thing they're that made excited to see You went up and I'd, you were on for the... Did you open? No. I can't even, no, but you went up, mate, and you were... You were on fire, like you did. You'd barely done any material, aye. And you were just, you could tell you were in the fucking flow state, mate. You were right in the zone. Aye, I hate the I mean? material, mode, man. Right in there, like but fucking gone for it. I hate the, I hate the material. See when you aye. just go up there and just, and like, you can feel loose, and you can just, it's not, you start fucking nothing, about it. Nothing, nothing better than that, mate. It's hard, but like try to get into that zone. For me, I don't know, like I can get into that zone sometimes, and it's just there, and everything's just working, and it feels brilliant. And then there's times when it's just. Oh, get me off this fucking stage, you know, man. You're having to dry, like, you're, at, you're trying to do, all, like, talking to the audience, and it's just, like, blood out of stone. But Aye. I you, I, like, hosting. Aye. Like, fuck you, hosting's just ridiculous, man. Like, it's fucking, it's just an absolute banker. Like, it's just, you're so likeable. Like, that everybody's, nobody's like, fuck, what's this dick gonna say? Like, they're all, like, fucking... Aye. They're all right up for it. Like, like, like I said, when you done Belgie Boy, and by the way, ah, I'm absolutely fucking bloody Aye, roasting this thing. Off. Off, man. Let's get them off. It's kicking this. We're, we're a, this is a exclusive... It's not, we've not got a Patreon yet. We're not keeping it for Patreon. We are stripping. We've not got a Patreon. <laughs> bank transfer is a five. I'll <laughs> send you a photo of my nipples. <laughs> right, while we're taking the jackets off here, I've got a wee surprise treat for you. Cut in the bit where I said I've got learning difficulties and then the bit where I'm just struggling with the jacket after it. You all right, yeah? You go ah, yeah, you're all good, brother. There you go, mate. Dunn's the finest. Oh. That we're actually sponsored by Duns. Oh, mate, that's freezing. Only we're no sponsored by Duns, right? But it would be good to be. Um, so it's there you go, mate. Is that the same mob that Day the Buses? Garvey's. Remember Garvey's Orange? Get, like, get that down the hat. Get that down the hatch, mate. Okay. We're going to make Some... bee kits with these after it as well. So uh, it. leave a comment in Non-alcoholic the description. Non-alcoholic cash. We'll sign the bee kit and we one of yous can win it. Uh, what was I got to say? So talking about gigs and that, but about the worst gig. Have you had like, what, like a proper worst one that you're like, ah, no, you considering quitting after it? Hartlepool was up there, but um, no considering quitting, man. Like, I've no getting, I don't have a degree or any qualifications really or anything like that, so that's not really an option, unfortunately. I'm in this for the oh. fucking long haul. Aye. Um, but there was, I can't, I don't even know if we're meant to say, but there was one of the jail gigs you never told us the audience that we were performing to. Aye. And now I went on stage and um, oh, done about 20 minutes. I think I was meant to do 10 and done 20 minutes. I was fucking, I was on fire. Well, I thought I was just based on the reactions I was getting because they were so over the top. Like, I was like, see the Oprah Winfrey? You get a car, you get a car. <laughs> I was doing that, but just going, you're a pedo, you're a pedo, you're a grass, you're a grass, you're a pedo. Which in jail is just the only part you need. Like, the, you can just print laughs with that Aye. sort of stuff. So I done like 15, 20 minutes just calling everybody a pedo. And then I always I started a bit with has anyone been anywhere nice recently? And then <laughs> one wee guy piped up and he was like, I my I my room. <laughs> and I was like, What is that what you're in here for? Up to no good in your bedroom. <laughs> right. And it got this weird reaction of everyone being like just going fucking mental. <laughs> and then I was like, that was weird. And then so I'm just constantly caning them or calling them pedos, thinking that <laughs> it's just a general population. And then we go off stage and there's a woman comes up to us with a lanyard and, you know, she's got a bit of authority. Oh, she's yes. all got a bat on and yeah. handcuffs and yeah. that. She's got a fucking lanyard. She's got a whole lanyard, man. She was, uh, she was like that. Do you think uh, that material that you were doing was appropriate for who was in the room? And I was like, who was in the room? She was like, you've done about 10 minutes on people in protection whilst... You were in protection? In protection. <laughs> in protection's just a political correct term for beasts and snitches. But, um, I and the wee guy, <laughs> the wee guy that uh, heckled us came up to us at the end. Oh, and he was like, try to dig us up. He was like, that. oh, you're saying you're f- saying one minute uh, you're for Glasgow and then next minute you're for Cumbernauld. And I was just like, oh, right, nice. So now we understand boundaries, huh? <laughs> but no, it turns out that wee guy was an actual full-blown sex offender. Aye. But there's mental ones, like, you. there'll be a guy walking in and they'll be like, don't echo him, he's buried his mom under a caravan and all that. And you're like, all right, don't worry. <laughs> Aye, there's, there's been a lot of maddies in there, haven't there? Aye. I love them, but man, they're 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 fucking brilliant. I thought the um, Berlin one was amazing. Unreal. 
Aye, that was quality, man. Like 200 of them in the chapel, just right up for it. Do you know what Aye. I mean? That was the one that was, um, I was rinsing this guy because he had like a slick back Jack Grealish right. do. And I was just... I actually right, knew I, him. I was, did you? Of course you did, man. No, I did. Like, <laughs> uh, I was calling him Crack Grealish and he wasn't liking it. And then at the end, I went up to shake his hand and he just hit us with one of them. <laughs> I never fucking... Sh- I, see, if we were outside, I'd have vaulted that fence, man. <laughs> like, catch you, man. Fuck, I was shiting myself. <laughs> Even the guards and all that were just pissing themselves at me. Amazing, man. Fucking brilliant. But I love, love the jail gigs, man. Are we allowed to talk about your new venture? Um, I think it's out tomorrow. I don't know if it's been cut. No? I genuinely don't. Oh, I you know. don't? I don't know. Just keep this in. I don't, can, I we, don't. can we talk about it, but Aye, aye, aye. Talk, talk about it all the way. I was in uh, uh, during the Fringe, um, auditioned and got a part to be in the Scots. Scots, um, so that's the guys who done Burniston. Aye, Ian Connell and Rab Florence. Rab, uh, Rab Florence. It's class working, like getting aye. to work on it and like even just even just the audition for it and that, I was like it was serial. I talk talk to him about that. I've heard a few audition stories, so tell me. That was I mean, how did it all come about? So I'm not even I'm I'm still not even t- like completely sure. Like I've just it was I've I done an audition for Scott Squad. I think that's right. like a pure Scottish. Was Canadian. that a while ago? Aye, that was right when I'd started. Right. And uh, I never got that, but I'd went into that and was like you had to like the way they do it is um I hadn't even fucking read the email properly. Um, as you can see from my jacket, the way I took that jacket, I constantly, <laughs> constantly take that jacket off, only reading emails properly. <laughs> All the backs are fucking medication. That's how we end up <laughs> fucked. But um, I so I, I went for that and then auditioned for that, and you have to make up your own character and like just sort of improv. Right. And I'd only realised this about a couple of years before I was going for it. So Aye. I'd me- um, I'd actually messaged Pierre Siggins, mm-hmm. another great comedian, uh, Jama- part of Jamaica Street. Check yep. him out. Um, I had I'd messaged him because he'd studied acting. I was like, mate, how'd you act? <laughs> how'd you do that? See that way you would send a photo if your pal was a plumber, like, <laughs> like, leak in the toilet. I mean, is this fucked? I was doing that. Like, I mean, how'd you act? Like, <laughs> and um, he was like, just go in, fucking do what you need to do. Um, so I walked in and I started making up this character about some guy that was like selling CBDs, hash and all that. Right. And I think they were just, they were just looking at me, they were fucking mental. But I was still... Was that for the Scott Squad? No, one? no, that no, was for... Um, that, that, yeah, that was for Scott, Scott Squad. Squad right, and right, then, right, right. And, I, and I never ended up getting that. And then it was it was actually Naz Hussein up at Breakneck in Aberdeen right. who emailed me just Naz's a brilliant guy, by the way. Uh, I've not actually met him yet. I've done, I've done Breakneck and it was class. But, was um, he wasn't there? No, no, he wasn't there. He's been doing that. To me, and all he's yeah. been no comment to the gigs. Aye, we'll need to just kidnap Aye, him, kidnap him, kidnap him in that wee smart car, Aye. bring him <laughs> down here, man. <laughs> so, what happened after that? Then? Um, so how did you get into this, this Scots one? Aye, so I don't know, I just got that email for him saying there was like somebody that worked with them, right? That seen me, mm-hmm. and then oh, brilliant, it was mate. during it was, it was during the fringe. I could take pull out one of the prison gigs, right, um, and just went there and auditioned for it. Me, I went, I fucking. I was getting Indian material and all that. I was not fucking. Do you know? I had an image. I didn't even know it about it, right? And it was backstage at the Wholesome Prison Blues and the Just the Tonic King. Mm-hmm. And uh, me and Paddy were talking. Paddy done that. Oh, Jack's got the Scots, and I'm like, ah, but the Scots program. I'm mm-hmm. like, Jack, who? I didn't know he was talking about you. You, you went right out my head for a second. And he's like, Jack, I'm like, Jack, who's like, oh, Jack, I'm like, what, Jack? Aye. Pure buzzing, man. I mean that, because it was outside the the, the the venue, you ran up to you, like, I never even knew. Aye, I was, amazing, I, mate. I, I had a vision of you getting into the audition, just like, putting a door off. Aye. Like, walking in with your, your specs, and I'm all, like, right! <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just doing a bit of material, so I, 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 would, they, were they just loving it, aye? Aye, mate, there was, it, was, um, it was Ian that was there, and then I was just, I was buzzing off. I remember being in school when Burniston was out. Yeah, that's, a, that's a dream of mine. Do you know what I mean? You're living out one of my dreams, mate. That's and the worst me. thing about it is I've fucking done breakneck comedy about fucking 25 times. <laughs> mate, you need and one of these then. sees me. You need right? one of these I know, then. mate, and I get to fucking hear it. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> get a pu- you could be a, a pubes mullet. That Aye, could be your thing. Mate. Just getting them out Having them stage. pubes but coming out of the back of my trousers. In the back of your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Just doing by the porno man coming out the back. <laughs> it's like a wee business at the front just long at the back man <laughs> just just coming out the boat with my jeans man <laughs> uh i so i man that's honestly amazing but uh, listen uh, uh, just what you've said there i know what a- actors are like i've I've seen actors on podcast in america and all that and they're like 
might be cut. You don't you don't know what's going to happen. They don't tell you, do they? I think I think I probably could email them, right? But I don't like. You just been burying it. No, I, I just I always feel it like, like where I where I'm at the new. Like I'm too scared to ask him to anything. Aye. It feels like if you're snuck you my feel way like, in here. I feel you feel like as if you're annoying them or I something. Feel like if, I feel like if I ask anyone anything, they're going to be like, oh, well, what's he, what, uh, what's he, he doing saying? here? What, no, what's, he, to ask her. what's he doing here? Well, you're not meant to be here. But, um, so even, Poster syndrome a wee bit. I, I, don't, I don't know what you would call it. Probably, aye. But I was saying, I was saying to Kyle and Anna when we were driving in that um, I, made, we, we, I was on my way back mm-hmm. for, for shooting it. And it was like, I think it finished about half 11 at night or something like that. And... Um, I was, they were like, right, there's, there's your taxi there. So I'm just coming out the back of the fringe. So I don't have two coins to rub together, man. Aye. I am rooked, man. Mm-hmm. I've tapped every member of my family mm-hmm. member at this point. And um, I'm, got, I'm, in this, I'm in this taxi van. It's like, it's like a black cab. So mm-hmm. there's a meter running. Right. Oh, and fuck. it's going for Partick to Cumbernauld. Right. So I was in the back, man. Fucking. Oh, I'm not going to pay for this. Maybe they paid it for me. By the time we were passing by, as they're all and I was having fucking <laughs> heart palpitations, man. Like, I was sweating. I was like, I'm, I'm bailing out of here at Moody's Burn, man, just rolling into the motorway. I was, mate, I was texting my bud and all that. Like, I love you. I might have to suck this guy off or give him my kidney or something. I had no fucking. It was up at like 55 quid or something like that. I was like, oh, I don't. What? And then he was like, that's you, my man, on you going. Oh, oh fine, the, fuck. The relief, man. But Aye. I was mere, I was I was nervous, like, doing the bit and stuff like that, because I've never fucking, like... I know, I mean, st- I suppose when you're doing stand-up comedy, you're acting, but it's to you, there's nobody directing you. So you, you're doing it, there's no pressure, apart from making the crowd laugh. So, you, I mean, you do a lot of act when when you're doing your comedy, a lot of kind of moving, Aye, moving no, about. No written enough material, so I just get by on shouting <laughs> and pointing shouting at people and, and fucking doing and jack- <laughs> Jamaican accents. <laughs> so I suppose that you, you're you're acting when you're doing, co- but when there's cameras rolling, Aye. when the guys like other they, cunts to let Aye. down. If I fuck something up and stand up, it's just me you and the Aye. train back to Cumbernauld feeling depressed myself. So, it's just me that's fucked it, but there's like. Lights, cameras, makeup, this fucking, and you're just like, just... How long were you in makeup, mate? <laughs> ah, too long, man. Aye. I hid, man, they fucking... Did you just walk in big and they done that? That is what we're looking for. I we sh- saw the mullet and done that. I that's swear what, to that's God. brilliant. We need... That's like, that's what we need. I swear to God, like, uh, the woman was like that, right? Um, I think the, the character had a name. It was meant to be Crack Pipe. So it was like I went full method and all that. I think Aye. I was short on a come down and fucking your whole life yeah. Apart. <laughs> <laughs> she walked in and I was like, All right, that is that is crack pipe, right? There. Brilliant, I man. I didn't even have to do anything um, proper. Like, didn't he? I was cutting about the front, the fringe, looking homeless, man. Because I couldn't. I got told. I got that, and I was told, right, you can't. Right, can cut your hair or anything like that. I've actually still <laughs> no cut it since. Mate, I think it looks brilliant like that. Like, I, I know. I, there's some there's times I've seen you where it's all it's a mullet and it's nice and tidy. Aye. You better shave at the side, you look but I, I like this. Aye, this it's, is, it's wavy, mate. The, it's, the Bee Gees oh, sort of seventies. If I could if I could have that, I would have that. I'll all day eat, long. I'll swap you the bell ghost for it. No, I'll, aye, if you want then. <laughs> no. But I, I would love like that that that. Like I've got like my I mean my curtains. I'm not taking my hat curtains off. Aye. My, fact, fuck it. There it is, right, man. Like that's uh, my hair's no I can't have a mullet. I, I could, it's just the way my hair grows, mate. Aye. Does that look creepy? My creep music. Whoa. Aye. Look at you. The I told you you were watching that Foo Fighters thing last night. I think you fucking get right there, yeah. So, uh, obviously, we've done the fringe. But that wasn't your first fringe, was it? Aye, aye it was first, first pop. i done right. sports my first year I got into it. Um, I'm just still less than two years in there. But um, first time doing my own show. Aye, your own show. Well, no, my own. I was doing two. I oh, was doing the Wholesome Prison Blues one and then um, one with probably. Daniel Petty. Aye, and that was like a half an hour each sort of thing. Aye, well, it went well, why? aye. Aye. <laughs> well, I can remember you tell, you were telling me you had a few, a few no badges, but you're like, ah, fuck this, man. You've got, if you're so, doing a gig, you have two gigs a day every aye. day for like a month, you're going to have shite us eventually, man. It's horrible, mate. It's just the, the ups and downs. I, I used to be thinking like... Before I was before I went and done the fringe, you would see like all oh, these other comedians being like, "Oh, it's so hard this year." Like, Shut up, mate! You're fucking telling jokes. Do you know what I mean? And then got about to four days in, I was like, "I can't do this anymore." <laughs> Nobody's laughing at my jokes. And, it, but, and I just fucking had to eat humble pie with that one. But, um, I, 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 I kept me saying, "Doing it with the likes of you," and then Aye. that was good to be seeing that. That's if the third year for me, the first year. I was doing spots, 
second year, I had my show in Dane Spots, and then this year was like, me and us a full run Aye. with yous, and then mine show, but it was good to have that, to just like bouncing off each other and all that, and just picking each other up, Aye. and things like that, because I did, I had, I had really some of my favourite gigs at the Fringe, and I had some right fucking humdingers, man. And like, there'd be an hour between them, do you know I know, mate, no, that's <laughs> it, let's see, my favourite, probably my favourite gig I've ever done was my, the last gig I'd done at the Fringe. I think you just came in at the end of that, you and Daniel. That's sober? Aye. Aye, yeah, that, that was class, I think class, you came in at the end of that, and it, it started off a fucking riot, Aye. because it was like just people who were mad with it, and I was trying to tell what Cam doing, and they ended up getting kicked out, and then for their own, it kind of made the night, and it was good, but the gig I'd done before that was, uh, I don't know, I can't remember if you were at it, but I was hosting, it was hosting Prison Blues, and I just didn't feel, I just felt like I didn't do well. Aye. I just felt like, fuck this man, and then I felt pure deflated and done, and I'm like, ah, right, this is my last gig of the fringe, this is the one I want to make count, Aye. and I, I walked about myself for an hour, I bumped into Kyle and Anna, and Big Jim and that, and I was just like, ah, fuck, this is horrible, man, and then, I don't know, I just pulled it together and went and done it, so that's what comedy's like. It, you, you, you can have, you know, the best gig of your life and then have a pure stinker or vice versa. Do you I'm get that a lot? Mate. Do, Aye, you, mate, do, do you feel that, do you have like spells of good gigs Aye. and then a stinker or, or do you have a few bad gigs? What, what's no, like I'm, for you? I'm, 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 a, I'm all form, man. Aye. I'm like Jamie Vardy. Like, <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm all form. Like, I'll just have a run of like, making, like, even a couple of months, like, and, where I'm just fucking... <laughs> There's just nothing, it's no, you're no doing bad, but you're maybe just doing like 6 out of 10, Aye. 6 out of 10. Mm-hmm. And you're not getting the buzz you feel for it? I don't know about you, mate, that's even worse than fucking bombing. Aye. See, because you, you learn something for bombing, you're like, right, what can I do next time mm-hmm. that, so that doesn't happen again? See if it's just alright, there's Aye. like, mm-hmm. fuck, how, how do you improve for that, like if it's just alright? You could definitely feel it, mate. Oh, you, you, you feel it, like, you come off and people say, oh, that was great, but you know yourself, you're like... Don't lie to me. <laughs> like, you just don't want to see anybody and it's horrible. And then when it's all right, it's all right. It's just all right. You're like, I didn't really get the buzz I wanted Aye. there. And I didn't bomb. But and then you get the ones when you come off and you're like, fucking hell, man, this is the best feeling ever. And you, you, you can feel it. Aye. And then everybody else around about you knows that you've done well because you're pure like, oh, try to talk to everybody, you know, <laughs> try to crack jokes and all that. And then when you're bombed, you don't you don't want to look anybody in the eyes. Is that the way you feel as well? Like, hundred oh, percent, mate. Like, see, imagine how much you could get for a gram if you could like sell that <laughs> no, know, feeling, mate. mate. It'd be fucking ridiculous. But like you said, like just it's there's it's quite fragile comedy. Like you just, I didn't realize that as well. Like you know what I mean? But like, it just <laughs> no, yeah. takes like. One wee hang, it's dead delicate. <laughs> it's no, a very delicate sport, the old just, comedy. You know, it's no oh, sh- Jean, put your puss away, Mavis. <laughs> Margaret, don't you dare. It's, it's, it's delicate. It's, not <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's very, it's very delicate. Because um, it just takes like one hang that's shite. Like, Aye. one arsehole to just be, like, Aye, talking to you and all that, and it just throws you off. <laughs> Imagine, like, if you're, like, play, like, doing like a real art like like playing an instrument or something like that Aye. like if somebody's mad with it like shouting you're shite you can Aye. still just fucking make it louder man. play <laughs> over it man like, like if somebody's calling you shite like it's a lot of pressure man i prefer that but what the worst ones when like i had i had somebody at the fringe and it was honestly probably the worst audience member i've ever had right first full start of the gig like for the word that's for the, for the moment it started like I can handle heckling. Like, you've seen it. You're the same. Like, aye. you've seen it in the jails. Mm-hmm. Aye. It's so, if you, somebody's like, ah, yes, Becky Prick, it's so much easier. But this person was just sitting down the front going, steaming, mate. Oh. Steaming. Just, Paddy Linton actually flyered them in. And that's, <laughs> that just says, oh, all right. He flyered a few questionable mate, characters in. He man. would just, I think he, ju- I think he just stood outside the homeless shelter, just handed out flyers for my gigs. Because he managed to somehow. Round up, up in everybody in Edinburgh that should have been on train spotting, man, and <laughs> somehow got them into our gigs. Cunts walking into the gigs with like Aldi bags and all <laughs> full of shopping. You're like, where the fuck's he going? I, I remember there was a guy sitting right up the back at one of the gigs that Paddy got in, and uh, <laughs> You were sitting next to him, I think, you and Amanda, aye. and everything I said, he was like, ah, right, aye. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy, did you hear me say this? He was telling everybody the jokes. <laughs> I'm like, mate, I, he was a sound cunt. I didn't even want to tell him to shut up aye. because I knew he was, not, he was not heckling me, but he was distracting him. I'm like, right, mate, I've got this covered. You're like, oh, you a dick, <laughs> this is delicate. <laughs> aye. So, um, 
I had that the first the first fringe that I done, but um, that was another one that was a fucking howler. I done I done a show with Peter Bell, uh, BBC News Comedian of the Year finalist Dean yep. T. Byrne mm-hmm. uh, yeah. and Kyle Shout Samuel, the BBC boy, aye, the BBC kid. Sorry, aye, the Renfrew kid, the BBC <laughs> kid, man. Shout out, love Dean. But um, we went and done a we done a free fringe, so we we're just giving this like pub. Fucking, we were close to Bathgate, I think. Then we were, <laughs> we we were, were in Edinburgh, Edinburgh man. man. We're doing the French, man. Cunt, Where is it? Come on, look. And it's like, <laughs> cunts of this accent now. You're like, Where? <laughs> uh, he's like, I'm a fucking local. Uh, aye, so we were, we we're doing that, and we actually, we never had a mic or any equipment or anything like that. And uh, next door to us was a pub quiz. So it was fucking, I opened that, and it gets so bad at one point, I just walked into the back of the room, picked up the chips I was eating, just started eating <laughs> chips, and was just talking shit to him. I was like, this isn't going well. Clearly, <laughs> and uh, there was like just a scattering of like Americans and all that, and I'm shouting at them doing jokes about how much ketamine it takes to bring down the kelpies. And it's just fucking <laughs> just don't just going right here, the heat, man. <laughs> I fucking cut. I'm sitting bearing my soul and all that, and you can just next door, you can just hear what is the capital city of Peru? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing worse than that, mate. I remember two year ago or three year ago, there was a few gigs at the fringe. It was in the Omni Centre. Oh, fuck, But mate. it was like a building site. Oh, mate, 100%. And it, it was just like a literal building site, so there was like bits of plywood separating the rooms. Aye, like and there was a guy next door. I went up to, to do a, a five or ten minute set, and um, I'm like, just like, oh, this is like homes under the hammer in here. And <laughs> but see the guy next door, he was his act was shouting his full set. As I'm not Literally, saying that's you mine. <laughs> you could hear it. You, like, every, like, I'm like... Do you know what I mean? It's uh, just, it's mental. But, uh, but uh, as I say, mate, like, I literally did do a gig in a bookies two years ago. That's brilliant, man. In a Ladbrokes, mate. You know what I mean? That. And it's mental. Was it still open? Some old guy shouting the, at a dog no, going to that, Delhi. That Come been... on, sea biscuit! <laughs> you'll, try to, <laughs> you'll try to deliver a hot take on Ukraine. He's like, run, you bastard! <laughs> fucking run! <laughs> He's got the full pension <laughs> on sea biscuit, man. A fucking bookies pen on his roof. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pint of heavy, no more. It, 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 it was now the bookies was like shut, and it was just in there at night, mm-hmm. and it was chairs out, and the lights were on, and people were just like walking out and all that. Like just oh. honestly, it was mental, man. So but, uh, what was I going to say? Lost his I was what I say. <laughs> I was going to say uh, another belt of memory for me. At the fringe was it the wholesome prison blues gig we done, and it was I think it was one of the Saturdays, but we had a big audience oh, in. Yeah. And it was it was buzzing when we had the big audiences in, but there was one, and you just you I could tell you were in the the mood that you just didn't give a fuck. Ah, you were just about to get to your next gig, gig I think, and you're like, ah, pff, like right, fuck it. I don't, I don't think any material here, and you whipped your phone out, you put Netflix on, you're like, why watch Happy Feet? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Because I, I was just... sitting howling, mate, like fucking cunts were like, what is happening here? And I was just like. Ah, ha, 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 people laughing at the top oh, of my I, voice, man. I got a few pints, mate. It was just going a bit fucking mental. Aye. And um, <laughs> like just going nuts with just doing gigs and Aye. all that. I was like, I can't. Because you're just saying the same stuff over and over again every day. And I was just like, I can't, I can't go up there and say the same things I've been saying for the I past know, fucking mate. three weeks. It fucking kills you. So just went up and just started rambling shit. And Aye. then went, fuck it, I'm turning this into like the, the last week of school before Christmas. Just <laughs> put on a DVD halfway through my set. It was like, fucking. That was brilliant, mate. So, yeah. I'm going to bring this up, mate. Mm-hmm. Right? And um, you had a, a wee run-in with a certain heavyweight. I would like to call him a, a heavyweight in the, the, the Scottish comedy circuit. Guys, I said I didn't want to bring this guy's name up on the podcast. I just, thought, just will like, we bleep it? Ah, is that all right? We'll bleep it. Right, on you go then. Just, who is it? Who Mark is this Nelson. guy? <laughs> Mark Nelson. Right, Mark, right. That chump. <laughs> yeah. Talking to you, Mark. Aye. Still ducking me for the roast battle, huh? I see you doing well with your podcast and all that. I've no forgot. I'm still looking for blood market, boy, yeah? Heard you're coming on. Mikey's podcast, aye? I'll be waiting for you. Get Ryan Cullen on the phone. Don King set it up. Me versus you. Grudge match. It's fucking on. Stop ducking me, Mark. Now or never. <laughs> I'm coming for you. <laughs> Do you want to know the funny thing about it as well? As well right? Obviously, I so saw the... The videos that on Roach Ella. Aye. Which is, it's Andy, Andy, Ro- Roach. Andy Roach. And um, I saw I saw you on one and you were sh- calling it Mark Nelson. Then I saw one for Mark and Aye. I was howling. But just before the videos came out, I was doing a gig with Mark back in Glasgow during the fringe. Oh, I remember you saying and, this. And uh, 
he's like, you know Jack, didn't you? He's aye. And he's like, oh, look, man. He's like, look, I've just messaged him. This wee thing, because obviously he's aye, had a roast give, battle. I'll, you, I'll, you tell I'll us give us a back story. context there. There, um, there, was, uh, there was during the fringe, there was a roast battle. Um, it was ones I was talking about earlier uh, over at Monkey Barrel. They're, they're brilliant, honestly. Like, and check them out. Man. Oh, mate, hundred percent. Like, they're they're so good. Uh, so I was like, there was they were they had this roast battle on, and I think it was maybe like Irish comedians and stuff like that. And then they had a few folk pull out and uh, things like that. And it was like two hours before it started. I got a message for Ryan. And he was like, mate, like he, I think he was he actually maybe hosting it or something. And he's like, we've had a we've had somebody pull out. Um, just need anyone a year about. I was like, most he said five hundred roast battles or something like that. Aye. And he's built like he's. If you're talking about somebody new, oh mate, you're talking. He's, uh, he's I'm a specky roaster. He's the ultimate <laughs> roaster, right? You're talking about somebody like in the UK that's like the roast battle guy. It's right. There's no doubt about it. He's fucking phenomenal at them. Um, so I know I'm going up against him. Mm-hmm. I, I don't stand a chance here. This is Khabib versus Jose Alaquinta here. I, I'm not winning. I just need, <laughs> I just need to not get knocked out in the first round. <laughs> and um, so, um, um, so Kai Humphreys, good friend of me, and Kai get is also good friends with Ryan. Catches yep. wind that I've took this roast battle um, against this roast juggernaut last minute, <laughs> and then he catches wind of it, and he's like, oh, "Are you doing that roast against Ryan? Um, here's a bunch of roasts." Um, for my roast battle so you don't make an arse of yourself basically right. didn't say it like that but that's basically Aye. what he was doing yep. he was looking out for his thank you Kai uh, what a boy um, and then his pals obviously can't wait, catch wind of it so I had fucking uh, Mark Nelson he, a- <laughs> he actually uh, he sent in a few as well and I was like I- I'd do a bit of charity work I'll throw it one of Mark's roasts and um I used one of Mark's roasts that he'd sent over. And so was, this is one of Mark's jokes. It was one of Mark's jokes, right? And then I just <laughs> used it last week. And I, I thought it was all kosher because <laughs> Ryan sent me it. Works with Mark, but good pals and that. And then I'd, what I didn't you know is like the next day, I, like, a week, few days after I'd woke up and um, I had like notifications on my Instagram and that. Mm. I went on and checked on it. And it was like Ryan Collins collaborating on a video and I clicked on it and it's for the roast battle. Yep. And it comes up and like, I, d- I didn't know it was getting clipped or anything like mm-hmm. that. Fucking, I wasn't bothered or anything like that. Um, but it's, I realised he's clipped the joke that Mark's gave us, so I've <laughs> shat myself a wee bit. Because it's like a cardinal sin to be using aye. other people's material. Different I, for a roast. Like, you, so you get away with it. Two it's minutes just, fucking, like, aye. two hour warning and all that. They knew, they knew like, they was, he was helping me, kind of thing. Aye. And um, <laughs> I've used that, and he's put up the clip of it. Yeah. Um, got a couple of views and then I've messaged Ryan like just checking in that's all right mate like that's no my joke that's, yeah. that's Mark's and he's like aye mate you're all good don't worry and then the next day I just wake up and there's a Mark, Mark's message me are you using my material to get financial gain <laughs> uh, your agent will be finding out about this and I didn't think, I didn't know he was kidding on aye i just seen this fucking, um, <laughs> this, is, this is like a, this is Honestly, a, a Scottish comedy veteran, like comedians, comedian of uh, the year, Mark Amazing. Nelson. I was shiting myself, I was like, oh fuck, I'm blacklisted, uh, I'm never going to, I'm just, on the forum and all that. Aye mate, I was, I was <laughs> fucked man, I was looking at UCAS apprenticeships and all that, <laughs> I was fucked, and then I'm sending them like, haha, I hope that's alright, 400 laughing aye, emojis aye. just to make sure, and then I was like, you're not being serious, are you? He's like, obviously no, you're Aye, because he, he, he showed me it, he's like, um, I'm, I'm going to message him back for a bit. Oh, mate, like, he left it for about half a day aye, and I was mate, fucking hard as a mass all day. Howling, man, amazing, so I anything else to say to Mark? Aye, that's why he's getting roasted, man, he's, he's got that one over his Did. bit. Right, Jack, well, it's been a pleasure having you on, but just we've got to just wrap it up in a wee few minutes. But where do you, where do you, um, this isn't an interview here, mm-hmm. right? But where do you see yourself? What do you want out of this over the next like, few years? What do you want? What, what's happening? Um, living in the town centre, face pressed into an AK, <laughs> online a bear gossies, um, <laughs> sponsored by these cunts and all. Let's do that and done. Duns. Uh, I, I would quite like to, I don't know, um, I would my my main dream is I would love to play Ur Willy <laughs> in a live that. action film made by Danny Boyle where Samuel Jackson plays the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Willie, get your ass off of me, Willie! <laughs> I would, I think, I would, that's my main dream. But I, if I can't get that, a couple of quid and telling jokes would be alright. What? 
Well, I like a pure reimagining a uh, Ur Wally, like no wee spikes, just like the mullet. The mullet. I can see that, mate. Mm-hmm. Uh, me, I just want to do gigs, just get a, a fan base. So if you're watching this, share it. Just people that are going to come to the gigs. Aye. Just people that you, you say, oh, I've got a gig in Newcastle in two, three weeks' time. And you go down and it's it's sold out. Aye. That's it, man. Just enough to get by and just do gigs and enjoy it. And just get better every time, you know? It's a dream, my that's man. That's it, a dream. Thanks for having us on. This no, has been no class. At all before we go, just get this one. Last week, I want a day. I want to, I want to see your face eating a sure sweetie. Aye, on your Is go. that all right? Aye, can we do that? Is that Aye. good? Right. So I got these. My, my daughter loves sure sweeties. I'm not the biggest fan. My face can go some mental ways as well I'm not going to lie Mikey when you told me we were getting the sweeties out in this podcast <laughs> I was thinking something I was getting far too excited for this I'm actually choking for an echo these, these, these right, roofies so, so you take a couple right we're not just going to day one and this isn't your like double drop sewer face challenge piss right nothing like that right we're just, we're just want, I just want to see his face mm-hmm. right so I want you to take four four Day four. And I'll take four. You look into that camera, I'll look into that one, it'll cut back between us, right? We can imagine is that too much work? We'll take, no, we do that. Oh, I'm excited. We'll take right. half noon, half later. But don't do none of your bite and swally. Just take a half noon. We're doing the right? Ecky vaccine so, tactic. Half noon, half later, see how you're going. <laughs> uh, right, so I don't want you to bite it and swally it. Just That's it a cheater's way. Put it in and suck it. Right. Really suck, right? Mm-hmm. That's right. These are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're shite. You're no sour at all. You're no sour. Maybe it's dry meal. Wait, like, eat a full packet, right? See how many I can fit in your mouth at one time, right? I'm going to die of diabetes before right. you get this. Take on him. Well, there's six of them. Put on him in your mouth, I'll put six more. Right. You know? I don't know, mate. I was getting on. Right. Right. Very helpful. That was all. I've been like, here, yeah, that's been made for most of them. This has been the uh, Body Wolfram podcast. Uh, like and subscribe. It sounds like we're making fun of people, but honestly, we're not. Just get these sweets in my mouth. <laughs> If you've been fan of that, please give it a follow. If you get any last plug, mate. What? Thank you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, listen, guys. Thanks very much for watching. Jack, I love you to death, mate. Honestly, oh, yeah, follow this guy. What's your instas? You've fucked me here, mate. <laughs> a wee bit sure, but no. Yeah, it's Jack T Comedy. Uh, on Instagram. Anything else you want to plug quickly? Anything coming up? Any shows? Um, not really, no. Just see me about. Buy tickets. Brilliant. You know the deal. Yep. I love the boy. Uh, thanks for watching. Get a share. Give us a follow on Instagram, Facebook, Make Emotion, all the rest of it. I appreciate the support. 500 likes, more than a Mac in a set. Makina, it means Makina. I, I fucked that there. Aye. I clearly see I was um, learning difficulties again there. <laughs> what do you have Makina set with? And the buff? Aye, Bollico. Aye. For less of our sweeties. Aye. For less of your sweet eye. I feel at my nut now. Aye, that's but done something to me, mate. Sugar that's buzz, sugar me. buzz. I can feel diabetes in my forehead now. That's sweat now. Yeah. Uh, thanks, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Hey. hey. Yeah. <laughs>